Okay, third video of the day. Here we go. All right, for this one, I am going to be talking about... Uh, oh, <laughs> my intro. I'm going to do my intro. Hi folks, I'm Owl. This is Yarn Owl Reads, and today I'm going to be talking about some weirdly specific favorites from 2019. So I did a blog post last year at the end of 2018 or beginning of 2019 about some weirdly specific favorite things I had from 2018. And I'm doing that again here, talking about 2019. Uh, my new favorite genre was romance. Uh, if you read or if you listened, no, if you watched, if you watched my reading survey video and my 2019 stats video, you'll know that I discovered romance in 2019. I don't think I'd ever really read a romance book before 2019 or one that I would classify as just like straight up romance. And then I read 50 something, 54, 54. And it was lovely and that is just my new favorite genre it is a go-to for i need to feel good and there's a lot of times when i need to feel good um so that was just a really lovely discovery definitely my new favorite genre my favorite scientific writing uh or science writing was to be taught if fortunate i talk about that a lot in my survey video uh and then just because it's the only not favorite thing I'm gonna have. My least favorite science writing of 2019 was uh, Kingdom of Needle and Bone by Mira Grant. Also talk about that a lot in my reading survey video. Uh, anyway, yeah, I just, uh, to be taught a fortunate, got into the quandaries of science really, really well. And I really liked the way they were portrayed and discussed. And all of those things are things I didn't like about Kingdom of Needle and Bone. My favorite end of the year surprise. Uh, so, you know, towards the end of the year, you don't really expect to, <coughs> or I at least, don't really expect to find new favorites. And in 2019, I did. I had uh, A Gentleman Never Keeps Score by Kat Sebastian. This is like, I think it's going to become one of my favorite books of all time. It hasn't been long enough yet for me to be able to say that, but uh, I just, I love it a lot. It feels like it holds a similar place in my heart to um, A Duke by Default by Alyssa, Alyssa Cole. So uh, it's about, I, like on one hand can't really tell you what it's about because it's a sequel, but on the other hand it's a romance sequel, which just means we are following different members of a family <laughs> all finding love. Uh, so A Gentleman Never Keeps Score is about a man who is new in the wealthy sort of life, um, new as being a gentleman, and that's the life he's always wanted, um, and it's just not feeling as great as he thought it was going to. And the other main character is a black tavern owner all of this in london all of this is historical but i have no idea when i'm not good at eras um and he's just like he he likes his life uh and he's just trying to keep that going and they meet and it goes from there i just i really i really liked it i just did my favorite readathon of the year was the Newt's Readathon. Um, this is the second half of the Magical Readathon. First half is the OWLs. Technically, I guess these are the NEWTs, but I always call them the OWLs and the Newt's. Um, it got so that was in I think August, and it helped one get me back into readathons, which was just very fun. Um, I participated in a bunch of readathons towards the end of the year. Yeah, the newts were in August. Um, and it was just, and the way it's set up is also just very fun with like you, your scores from the OWLs affect which categories you read in the newts and like you've got professions that you can strive towards. And it was just, 
it's all just really fun and really well put together and made me very happy. So, uh, so that was fun. And then for the rest of these, there are four more specific favorite, weirdly specific favorites that I came up with. Um, and because I read um, so much romance, but I also read other stuff that I really loved. But the romance is just meant to make me feel good and meant to make me happy. So of course those are going to be all my favorites. So for the next four prompts, uh, I'm going to choose an answer that is a romance book or romance series or whatever and one outside of that because I read other things too. So uh, my favorite series that I completed in 2019 for my romance series that was Ravenswood by uh, Talia Hibbert and that starts with um, a girl like her followed by Untouchable, um, Damaged Goods is a novella between those two and then the third like proper book was that kind of guy and I read all of these in 2019 and I just I love everything about that series um, I the second book Untouchable wasn't my favorite but it was still good uh, I think it was the only one that got less than five stars and the rest are just wonderful and fantastic and if you're into romance that takes place in a small town in England uh, and like features diverse characters and features mental health rep uh, you should just you should definitely go for this series and my non-romance answer for that was Stalking Jack the Ripper I read that entire series in 2019 uh, both of these they ended in 2019 and I just started reading them or just found out about them during that year and I read the entirety of the series and for Stalking Jack the Ripper, it was just, that was such a pleasant surprise. <coughs> I admit, I went in with pretty low expectations uh, and planning to just read the first one because it's one of Destiny's favorite books. Destiny is my best friend. She runs uh, Howling Libraries, which is on booktube and which is a blog and also on Twitter. You should go follow her everywhere. Um, but it's one of her favorite books and I was like, okay, I'm gonna read it. And then I'm just, I don't think I'm gonna like continue the series. I'm just gonna be done. But by the time I got to the end of Jack the Ripper, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm interested to see where these characters go. And then by the end of Hunting Prince Dracula, I was just, I was in. I was 100% in. I'm attached to all of these characters. I wanna know what happens with them next. So that was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, my favorite new to you series or in this case new to me series uh my romance answer for that was seducing the sedgwicks by cat sebastian um i talked about that a little a minute ago my favorite end of the year surprise was the second book in that series um it was just it was i didn't think i was gonna really like cat sebastian's writing because of uh because of personal bias towards the romance genre and romance book covers and because um, women writing MM and it just, I, there, I went into Cat Sebastian's writing again with pretty low expectations. Um, and then I really liked her FF novella earlier this year. And so then I read the first book in that series and really liked it but like didn't really feel like continuing the series and then I discovered Seducing the Sedgwicks and I am so impatient for the third book which comes out I think in June or July it comes out in 2020 and I just I love all of these characters I love everything that like I just there's I have a lot of love for this series the first one follows uh he the the Sedgwick brother is a what are they called he's a religious person like a, a parisher that does not sound right a parishman is it just parish i have no idea but he's like a religious dude a clergyman if you will uh and his love interest is a navy captain and the clergyman is like 
helping watch his children while he's away and then he comes home and it is like it has all of the Sound of Music vibes uh, and it is so adorable. Definitely recommend it. Uh, and then the second one follows Second Sedgwick Brother um, and he is a survivor of sexual abuse and it's a lot of him working through that and yeah I sorry I've already talked about uh, the second one a lot. Uh, the third one is going to follow um, the third brother but also somebody who has been portrayed as a villain in or like an antagonist in the last two books. I'm really really excited for that because she started setting that up in the second book and I like where this is going and I'm excited to see where it goes from there. <laughs> I'm just rambling guys. Uh, my favorite conclusion to the series, to a series. Um, for romance books, my favorite conclusion to a series that I've read was King's Rising. Um, this is the third book in the Captive Prince trilogy. I have a lot of feelings about the Captive Prince trilogy. I have a lot of not good feelings about the first book because uh, there is a lot of stuff in that that is messed up and not okay. And like, <laughs> And once you get to the end of the third book, to me at least, all of that stuff now makes sense. It doesn't make it okay though. And you have to go two books before starting to understand. And I don't know that that's worth it. And I'm not sure I would recommend this to people. That being said, I absolutely loved the second and third books in the series. I. I loved where they went. I loved the discussions they had. I just, it was, I, and it's not perfect, but it's good and made me happy. Um, all, all the content warnings, like I said, I don't necessarily think I recommend this series um, because it is about a prince who is like, thrown out of his kingdom and sent to live as a sex slave to a prince in like an enemy kingdom. And like that just starts bad and just keeps being bad. It's got so many problems. Um, but I liked it and I really 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 liked well, so I liked the characterization, but I also liked like the plot and like, and so as a romance, it was fine. As a political intrigue with rival kingdoms, it was phenomenal. I, oh my gosh, that was just, I, I loved the plot. I loved that plot so much. Um, and it was such a great callback to a lot of the fantasies and adventures and quest stories I read as a kid. But, you know, much more adult. <laughs> so, uh, that was my favorite conclusion to a series in 2019 for romance. For not romance, I read Clockwork Princess in 2019. And that is the third book in the Internal Devices. Yeah by Cassandra Clare. And I started this book in high school, or I started the series in high school. And I read the first book, and then I read the first two books, and then a long period of time happened, and I tried again, and I read the first book, and then a long period of time happened, and Madeline from Novel Inc. She is also a good friend. I will link all of her stuff below. Uh, she finally convinced me to give the rest of the infernal devices a shot and I was just really really happy with that conclusion like I, I agree that it is one of the best conclusions to a series I've read it wrapped things up really well and I just it, it's made me want to continue I really want to read the dark artifices but to do that I have to finish mortal instruments and like <laughs> I don't I don't like them mm. so that's 
an experience. We're getting there. Anyway, and my last weirdly specific favorite from 2019 were duologies. And my favorite romance duology that I read in 2019 was the Dirty British Romances, I think is what they're called. Um, it's The Princess Trap and Lana Bet, both by Talia Hibbert. And like I said, Talia Hibbert was just like an absolute miracle for me to find in 2019. Her writing is sweet and funny and real and t talks about like so many like very relatable issues uh and i just i yep i love that series i love all of her books so far that i've read i think there's only a couple i haven't read at this point but yes loved the series um they also both came out on audiobook in 2019 which was just so exciting to me so that's how i read both of those and my favorite not romance duology of 2019 was the River of Teeth series by Sarah Gailey. I have a really interesting experience with this series because I accidentally read the second book first and I actually like the second book quite a bit better. The first book was fine and I don't know if I would have liked it more if I hadn't accidentally read the second book first. Um, but it doesn't matter because I love the second book more than life itself. It's adorable. Um, the first book is about a totally above board um, and not at all a con or a heist sort of uh, work deal. And, uh, and then the second book just like follows the events of the first book or like after the events of the first book and it's just really good and I love all of the characters and I I love Taste of Marrow very 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 much um and I just I definitely recommend that series also if you read them in the correct order I'd be interested to hear what you think of like book one versus book two so anyway, those are my weirdly specific favorites of 2019. Uh, do you have any like weirdly specific favorite categories that you like to think about or that uh, you want me to answer? That could be fun. Uh, or do you have any answers to these weirdly specific favorites? Go ahead and leave any of that in the comments below. Um, all of the important information is in the description. And other than that, I will talk to you all soon. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.